Hello, friends. This is Squigs. That's a nice little jingle to start us off. Oh, and we're already getting into some groovy music. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Squiggy's Rom Hack Romp. We're here with Much Ado About Eggs by the one, the only, the Diego. Copyright 2013, comma 2019. Either a six-year work in progress or something I don't understand. A local grocery store has been selling Yoshi eggs for public consumption. Enraged, Mario storms off to destroy the grocery store, as he should. You should not be eating Yoshis. That's pretty fucked up. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Uh, this is the second hack we've done about eating Yoshi's eggs, which I like the, um... We'll start Yoshi's Treehouse. I like the theme of, because you have those eggs in the, uh, outro. Nice graphics, huh? Yoshi's hi hiding up in the treehouse. He won't even come down because he's afraid of getting his eggs eaten. What a wuss. Oh, that, yeah, that wuss. He's so afraid of having his children eaten. Wow. Let's, let's make fun of him for it. I would like to go up there, though, because it looks like I can get up there. Um, oh, yep, what a wuss. <laughs> I already like this hack. Um, graphically, it's nice, the music's nice, and the humor's pretty good. Oh, that's a cool idea. <gasps> Whoa, Mario, Luigi, the grocery store is selling Yoshi eggs, and people are eating them. You've got to do something. I do, actually. I'm on it, Yosh. You just hide up here with your, oh, you're gonna have a baby soon. <laughs> yeah, you stay here, protect your eggs from the omelet makers of the world, and I will go take care of the the grocer. <laughs> our our arch-villain, the grocer. Uh, the field, ooh. On our way to the grocery store, we must cross a field. What kind of music is this? Uh, ooh, nice. Wait, so you're really gonna go destroy the grocery store? Won't that ruin it for everyone else? Jeez, yeah, but there's an atrocity going on. Don't you care about the Yoshis? I don't know, it's <laughs> it's kind of messed up to eat any animals to some degree. I'm not like a vegan or anything like that, or, but um, like, what makes the Yoshi, <laughs> I guess if I'm playing Devil's Advocate, what makes the Yoshi so special? I'm burning Koopas to death. They're just turtles, they're just modified turtles. We can't even know for sure if they're aggressive or if they're just wild animals that I'm coming to their habitat and killing them. Like, but I guess like, I don't know, Yoshis are cute. It's the same reason we eat cows and not dogs, I guess. Messed up. Um, I feel like there's something down here, so we're gonna take a leap of faith. Oh my god, we can wall jump. That's neato. Um, reset pipe, maybe? I think this will be a reset pipe. We'll see, though. Just so we know for the future. Brings me back to the beginning, but with a P-switch. I'm just gonna hit it and see what happens, see if I can find anything. Uh, what is this piece? I hear this P-switch music all the time. But I don't, I don't know what that is supposed to be from. Is it something down here? Oh, I can get. So if I, oh, if I wall jump, I keep forgetting that I have that. I can. How does this work? <laughs> I'll figure it out. I don't, I don't understand what that does. I don't seem to be able to go up that pipe. There's like, there's a halfway point in there that's probably coming later in the level. I don't, I don't understand that. Because it looks like there was a coin blocking that pipe, right? Like, saying, either go in this pipe, I can't pick up this to get in there. I'm pretty sure I hit that pipe center on. First off, unless it's modified, which a lot of this game looks like it probably is, there's no single tile wide pipes. So it's not a vanilla pipe. But that coin really seemed to be indicative of being able to go in there. I'm just not going to worry about it and move forward. Maybe it's something we come back to later, because the I don't think that's the case. Maybe we just forget about it. Just enjoy these... What? Okay. All right. We'll, we'll say that I took damage. Look at this quick swap. <laughs> Lots of cool things in this hack already, yeah. The patches for this game are awesome. We get single tile Yoshi coins. I'm here worrying if single tile pipes might be a thing. Um... Yeah, the, the patching community, or like the people that write the uh, the little patches you can do without even having to know any ASM your, yourself are uh, pretty, pretty valuable people to have in the community. There's a lot of cool things in there. And I used to not mess with that stuff when I was making hack of my own. Obviously, I, I, uh, I appreciate it when I see it in others, but I never used to mess with it, just do the vanilla thing. But recently, I've gotten a little bit into the whole, the whole uh, patching deal. Like, you know, I'm not ready to dive into ASM yet. I, I get it a little bit through Russian Man's excellent uh, 
Uh, I should have done something there. Can't go back. I'm pretty sure it was for a one-up. The Russian man's excellent commenting in his ASM code. I get, like, the degree of how it works. And, I like, I like programming, so I understand it to a degree. But we're not ready to jump all the way into ASM yet. But, like, I'm learning about, like, little hex editing things. Like, how to make it so you don't become big when you hit a midway point. Like, that's like, you just change one zero to a one, or one one to a zero, and then all of a sudden, uh, that no longer happens. You know what I mean? So, like, you can do stuff like that through the patching that's pretty interesting. That, um, we'll get into that a little bit, I think, as we do some more tutorials for the channel. I think patching, hex editing, um, and maybe custom sprites and stuff are some good future tutorials. As always, if you have something you'd like to see explained on the channel, uh, please let me know. If there's something that confuses you about uh, Super Mario World hacking, I don't always know where to start, and some of my tutorial videos have come from people simply saying, I don't know how to do this, and then me making a video for it. And it seems that a lot of people agree, So, like, because uh, other people will look them up afterwards as well, even though I really just made them for a few people back in the day. Um, like, obviously, they're for everyone, but they were at a few people's request. Uh, so, if you have anything like that, please let me know. It's always good to have some new ideas for stuff to make, and I'd like to help anyone out that needs the help. Um, can we climb up these? I really like the idea of climbable trees. Now, is this if I brought the P-Switch all the way to the... Oh, well, no, I have the P-Switch right here. So, if we can kick this up... Nope. Not yet. I mean, I could... I want the most time possible in case there's a second challenge with the P-Switch, basically. So I want to hit it up here. Like, if I have to get through here and then somewhere else, you know what I mean? Maybe to get, like, a one-up. Or maybe it's just a pipe. <laughs> but you never know. Like, I like to maximize my P-Switch potential, if you would. Um, what on God's green flat earth <laughs> just killed me? Oh, it was time up! Oh, because of the music, I didn't realize I was supposed to be rushing that much. Um, well, just... <laughs> that was such a bad place to die. I'll just rush through this and we'll, we'll be back in a second. Alright, we should be back at the exit here with much time left. How did I go through 400... It's... This feels like a hack that... It's a raw pack again. Like, at least by the first level, I'm getting really rompy feels. It just looks nice, it sounds nice, and it's not, like, super challenging. Just want to, like, run around and explore and hop and stuff like that. I believe it's pretty short, too. We might be seeing the whole thing right here. We're at the beach. Let's move on. Um, it's always important to stop by the beach on your way to the grocery store. Don't you think that it's a bit extreme for you to just go and blow up the grocery store? I mean, I could... You could also just protest instead. Oh, well, I mean, they're they're murdering baby Yoshis and selling them off as commodities, just like we do to all types of animals in modern society. So we gotta go make a stop by that with a big display of... I, I mean, I never said I was gonna blow up the grocery store, but it, apparently the message box seems to think I am. <laughs> so I guess that is what we're gonna be doing. We are all defined by the message boxes of this game, but I guess, to a degree. I don't have complete free will here. I can't choose to not destroy the groceries. I could make a stance, actually, and choose not to destroy the grocery store, but I think people will get a little mad when I get to the last level and then refuse to play. <laughs> so, um, how would I, oh, I, I need to bring one of the many things I've melted with me. I mean, it's just for a Yoshi coin, so... I have a feeling I could get up there if I brought a shell, though. Shell jump. Shell jump, right there. I think I could... We're gonna try and break this level real quick. I'll be right back. I'm definitely gonna run out of time again. Alright, turns out I've melted all the shells in the world, and there's not a Sculpador to be found. So... Oh, there's one. <laughs> so, um, we're not gonna be able to... Keep melting all these. I'm like such an, a proponent for holding shells. I don't know why I keep melting all these. Um, what do we get up here? Probably a one up, I'd say. Oh, a P switch. Lots of P switch puzzling in this hack, it seems like. Probably, there's probably a way into there. Um, yeah, there's probably a way into here with this P switch, I would assume. There we are. Lots of arrows, I like that, because you never know when someone's going to hit the P-switch. It's good to lead them. A lot of times, things that... Uh, I guess that would have only skipped this small area. Oh. And we're meant to go back. Should we want to? Which is weird. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I appreciate the option, I suppose, but a um, bit strange. Don't know why I would want to progress backwards, unless it's one of those real thinker levels. <laughs> where you have to go forward and back. 
Uh, those can be fun if done correctly. Or they can be really annoying if done incorrectly, because you end up just backtracking over stuff for no real reason. Um, we've talked about that a little bit in the past, so I won't go into it again. But basically, yeah, if you're going to have people retread the same content, you got to give them something new to think about or do usually, or at least a good challenge that makes it interesting. Or, like, it has to be a puzzle element that they... There has to be some, like, type of reward for it instead of just making them redo the same level over and over and over for no real reason. Uh, my... The one that comes to mind is the level where you had to go all the way through the level, grab a P-switch, go all the way back through the level, and then it lets you out. And, uh, when you got out, there was both a normal and secret exit. Jesus Christ! <laughs> both a normal and secret exit right at the end. So, to beat the level, you had to beat through the whole level and then bring the P-Switch back through the whole level, and then beat the whole level again and bring the P-Switch back through the whole level again to get the secret exit, because there was really... There was no challenge to the secret exit. It was just placed at the end of the level right next to the normal one. So basically, it means you had to play the level four times just to beat through it. That's too much. That's too much. So that's, like, a bad example of it. But, like, say if, like, this was the only place to get a shell and I had to bring this back to the beginning of the game to unlock the secret exit, now you got an interesting secret that you've hidden, and although the backtracking might not always be pleasant, figuring it out might be the interesting part. Like, seeing the shell and being like, hey, if I brought this back to the beginning... That'd be pretty cool. I could do this thing. Like, stuff like that. So, um, I, I guess my game design uh, tip for that is to try and be creative with it if you're going to make people redo the same thing so that they don't feel like their time is wasted. Uh, so, we will go on to a cave next. There is still time for you to think this over and find a peaceful way to solve this problem, don't you think? I am. I really like this hack. Uh, I really like the humor in it, the writing. Um, it's, it's great all around so far, actually. Uh, it's a little bit easy, I'd say, for me, but, like, not not a bad thing, necessarily. I play a lot of Mario, so, like, some of them are gonna be easy, and that's another thing I often talk about, is the different audiences for different difficulties don't make things good or bad, really. They're just maybe made for different people. For every person that can fly through Mario and do Kaizo shit, there's another person that just picked it up and hasn't even played the original and just wants to see what hacking's all about and doesn't know any of the mechanics kind of thing. So, you got a market for everything when it comes to that. I try not to judge it on difficulty. But I would say this is pro I probably easy to normal difficulty. Maybe normal. It's not, like, easy. Like, there's, sh <laughs> there's shenanigans. Can we see that one more time, please? That <laughs> I love. Hey, um... Editor Squeeze, go back there and you go make me a thumbnail, right? That'd be a good thumbnail, possibly. I don't know. Who knows what this hack has though? It might be the. It might not even be the thumbnail. That's a cool little area too. Like I just, I just like the the level design in this. Even when it's like, like going down that path wasn't a challenge or anything, but it was just, it was nice. <laughs> I don't know. It's just like, it was interesting enough. That it doesn't have to always be about being hard, I guess is what I'm saying. I'm giving a lot of level design commentary on this one for some reason. I'm in a level designy mood because I've been doing it. I've been doing Mega Man Maker stuff lately and trying to finish up some hack levels, which is it takes me forever to do nowadays. Um, I used to be able to just whip them out, but now it, I really like to think about them, so they take me a long time to get through. Not today, Chuckalock. Yeah, how about? Oh God. I love that instant, like, instant grab the power-up for panic situations like that. <laughs> Pretty cool. Uh, I feel like we definitely missed something. Nah. I mean, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. We're not going to hit everything in this hack. I just don't want to spend too... Is that a ghost? Oh, you got the transparency on. Yeah, for, like, the ghost, the ghost house in here. I remember having some levels stuck like that, and I couldn't figure out why, because they were originally ghost houses, and basically, and I didn't turn the transparency off. But uh, yeah, I don't want to waste too much time backtracking on stuff just to find, like, one-ups and things like that. But I'll try not to miss any, like, obviously no alternate exits or anything big. Um, but if I go all the way back for a power-up, it feels like I wasted time in a different way. <laughs> so, it, it's a balancing act. We might actually get all the coins for once, and I bet you I missed one by not going back. Oh, no, it's at the end. Hooray! Now, give me, give me that pity. Oh, well, pretty good. We'll zoom through this a little bit so we don't have to hear the final fantasy outro music. 
Uh, we're going to some hills. Hold on one second, folks. What do we have for a time here? Oh my god, I get back. Ugh. We might try to just do this all in one episode, because it looks like we're getting close to the end. We're already at the length of an episode I would do. From the looks of it, you're really determined, huh? All right, I'm not going to try and stop you anymore. Do what you want. Oh, wow. You're just complicit now. Well, you're not complicit, but you've given up the fight trying to stop me. Um, I think we might just do this all in one big video. Normally, I would, wouldn't make like a half hour long video or so, but um, I just feel like playing this until it's done. I don't know. It seems like it's going to be easy enough. I'm not going to get stressed out and stuck on a level for an hour. Seems, but <laughs> I've had some last levels throw me a curveball in the past, so some people really like to up the ante on the final boss. <laughs> but, um, what the heck? I didn't even know you could exit off a screen like that. That was weird, and so was that double bounce up. Four left? What the? F what? <laughs> what is this? Four left? That might be the secret exit, I'm assuming? Like. Um, yeah, it's probably something to do with the secret exit. Um, there we go, get rid of him. Yeah, I don't know what the heck that ghost, um, that ghostly P-switch is supposed to do, though. It's kind of, oh, apparently I have to bring a pre- Hey, this is a little backtracking section, kind of like what I was talking about, but it's nice and short, so it's not, not nearly as bad. Um... Or left. What the? F what on earth? Oh, their challenge. Neat. I can dig that. First off, love the ghostly P switch to tell you where to place it. I kind of want to steal that. I believe I in one, some of my levels I had blocks to ver that would just a message box would tell you like place it on the blue block or something like that. But I like the idea of having the ghostly outline there, and I like this. Was I not supposed to jump up there? <laughs> uh, I like this idea of, like, having these challenges. Oh, nice. Like, these little mini challenges that you have to escape with the P-Switch from. Honestly, would be a fun idea. Uh, I think it's actually better for one level. I was going to say it'd be a cool idea to theme a whole hack around, but maybe it's best just for the one level. I don't know. Yeah, okay, yeah, what's up? What's up, Chuck? Now, I mean, I can just go back this way. I think I, I, think I did do this backwards a little bit. I'm pretty sure I was supposed to go, like, up and around. But, hey, we broke a level a little bit. That's always fun. Since we didn't do it with the the wall jump. I also like that idea for gating. Like, gating upwards with these. We're going to speed this up a little bit, though. Um, but, yeah. I guess I, yeah, I've resolved that point, so I won't go back to it. <laughs> so let's look at our third challenge. Oh. So should we, oh, I was gonna say, should we get those? We can't run up there anymore, but it's actually quite the opposite. Looks like it's almost required. Well, it's, to make it easier. Probably, it's probably that secret, e oh, there was no secret exit. I was gonna say, it's probably the secret exit in this level that leads to the Switch Palace, but I don't think we've seen that yet, honestly. We might have missed it, but, uh, oh, I don't like that. I, I see what was happening there now. It was, I was sliding down the wall. Well, that sucks. I don't know why I did that. What is up? What is up there? Hold up. Let's do some of this. Oh. Oh, in case you can't get up that hill. Very nice, because that was actually quite a challenging jump to do. It didn't really look that crazy, but it was, like, kind of precise to get up the wall there. I'll show you what I had to do. Like, you can't just run up against the wall and jump. You have to kind of, like, jump back and run up like that. So... Kind of interesting that they gave you away. But yeah, like I said, if you slide on a block, you'll slide right through this guy instead of bouncing off his head. I don't like that. Um, I've never really been a fan of the wall jump. I feel like it, it it can be used well. Like, you can definitely use it well in your hack and theme a hack on it and have it be fun. But if it's just there to be there, I feel like it gets in the way of the way I play Mario because I stick to walls that I don't want to. Like, if you have, like, a, a wall hack theme challenges in your hack, I think it's good. But other than that... Oh, God. I would say probably stay away from it. Um, I, I, I'm i not saying to stay away from it, actually. You might find it fun. For my preferences, I would stay away from it. I'm going back. Um, yeah, let's see what we got up here. Absolutely nothing. All right, kick this guy to kingdom come. And there we go. 
Okay. I really like the way you made these guys hop. Like, is that how they work in vanilla on these points right here? Uh, I don't think that would be anything that you would modify necessarily, but could be. Well, I managed to get that anyways. And we got ourselves a bonus game. Let's fucking see what they got for in store for us here, huh? It's a bonus game. <laughs> is this cave story music? I, I feel like that... <laughs> that theme, if it's not Cave Story, reminds me of the big TV guy that comes in. Like, when he's, like, I don't know what his name is, but that the guy that looks like a television that's kind of like a villain throughout Cave Story. Cave Story is an awesome platformer, if you haven't played it yet. We're going to go back to some hills. By the way, I love the, the name for these levels, like, a beach, some hills. Uh, I'm going to look for that secret exit real quick, and if I don't... Well, that's a... Well, what do you know? Oh, it's hep... Cool! Wow, just like in Super Mario 3. Too bad I don't have a feather to fly up and get my one up. But, um, yeah, if I don't find this real quick, I'm gonna assume it might be because of the blocks I haven't unlocked yet, but I guess I will probably see the outlines for them if that's the case. Or it'll be right here in heaven. That's kind of tough to find. Um, I'm lucky I found that right away because I don't. A <laughs> big red button. <laughs> These, like, matter of fact names are great. But, um,. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, that could have been really hard to find. I'm assuming I got coins in here. That could have been really hard to find if I didn't happen to stumble upon it, is basically what I was saying. Let's see. I probably should have done the other type of flying where I could just kind of, like, swarm throughout it. I mean, it's just some coins. We have 11 lives, and I don't think we've died yet. Did we die once in the beginning? Seems so long ago. You press the big red button. Blank will become blank. Now that's just dandy. <laughs> Everything about this hack I just enjoy. Like, it seems like someone was having a genuinely good time making it. House. No mention of the ghost in this house, huh? That would be false advertising in my book. No Yoshis this way. I really like the idea of the level outside the house being a playable level. That's nice. What does this guy have to say? Pick a door. You're probably going to pick the wrong one. Have fun. One, two, three, four. I declare a thumb war on number three. <laughs> um, oh my, the boxes moving with the background are terrifying. Hey, look at that. I don't want. Okay, we have to get to the, the pipe at the end? Brilliant. How can I not get into this? Do do do. That is fucking lame. Do do do. <laughs> I think I needed this. No, nope, no. Nope. I am screwed once this runs out, huh? Oh, it's a fun run. Um, no reset pipe in this one, huh? Let's do this so I can keep my feather. And yeah, I don't think there's any way to reset in this room, which is, I mean. It's surprising considering you gave me a reset door in every other one, but, um... I mean, it's not the end of the world. I'm not gonna complain about it. Of course, I can't get hit with those ghosts when I want to, but every other time, they're like my arch nemesis. I actually, I like the idea of the ghost being in a star room, too. That's very nice of you. Um, let's see if there's anything up here. Nope. Um, I mean, we could try a different door, but I'm pretty sure I picked right. Um, I'm pretty sure door three was the one. It seemed beatable, at least, uh, but we don't really know what's in the other one, so. Let's do this. Yep, this should be much cleaner this time if I just go all the way over. Grab this. Actually, I want this one because I'm never going to be back over here to get it again, and then I need to get the middle one on my way back the next time. This I don't feel bad flying over because I'm not really missing anything in the level. I'm just kind of speeding it up a little bit. Um, I feel like it doesn't really trivialize. You know, it trivializes a bit of the challenge. I really thought that was going to be a star. This one's a star then. Okay. Uh, we'll go back to the feather so we can float. Love that instant transformation. Um, and have we done it? Or did we pick wrong like the sign condescendingly assumed we would? That's right. I know. You always pick number three in a four. A four door pick selection. That's the just the. It feels right. Like it's not gonna be the first one. It's not gonna be the last one. And the third one feels better than the second one. 
What the fuck? Um, love this challenge too. So far, this hack has been. It's it's pretty exceptional for like your um, like a generalized hack. It's not like super gimmicky or weird or anything like that. But for like a, I thought I could walk into the side of that for some reason. For a hack that's just based around like you know having some fun, playing some levels. It's pretty well done, I think. Like, there's different challenges like this. It's not all just, like, regular platforming challenges. It feels like different areas. Each one, like, this part would be memorable. The ghost house part would be memorable. Stuff like that. Like, the um, the P-switch switchy switchy door open four times till you beat the level would be memorable. Like, there's different things that stick out. What the? What are you? Oh, you want me to wait? That's clever. I almost didn't wait. Oh my god, I, I panicked there because I'm like, do you really want me to get through this? Oh my god! In like two seconds. There we go. I am not good at sliding through like those note block things on a timer, so that's why I went silent there for a little second. Uh, always just just a tiny bit terrifying. <laughs> like nothing, nothing too bad, but just a tiny bit terrifying. There you go. Of course, uh, King Boo here, Big Boo, not really a challenge anymore. Oh, I thought I could end it in him, speedrunning style. So the second he appears, there's a block inside of him, basically. Alright, so we get some Mario 2 end music. Mario 2 had great music, for the record. It somehow fit the Mario theme, even though it wasn't the original music, or was it? I don't know if they changed the music in that like they did the sprites, actually. I don't know my Mario 2 history. Oh, this is the grocery... It's got a little grocery basket on the sign. I didn't even notice that at first. So we're at the, the grocery store, which is... Um, ooh, weird black flower. Displayed as an evil castle in this world. This is great. Oh, we got the um, the Yoshi's Island music. What? Oh, they're... They're tr strawberries and shit. Oh, this is awesome. This place doesn't even look like a grocery store. What the hell? <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, I'll take it. Let's see what we got. Sale on eggs? Peach? I know that you wouldn't keep your greasy bits off my Yoshi egg business. Well, now you want these eggs? You've got them. <laughs> what? What in... This is awesome. This is freaking awesome. So this is that... Oh, which boss is this? This is this is something else that appears as a different sprite usually, I'm pretty sure. Um, but I've never actually seen him oops, fire the eggs like this. So that's completely news to me. Kick you. Ah! Okay, you're moving faster now. I keep jumping into them like an idiot. Like, I know I'm doing it halfway through doing it. Ah! Oh, God. Oh. Excuse the <laughs> the frightened whimper that came from me. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna power ourselves up a little bit, and can I get back in here? Nope. Uh, we're gonna power ourselves up back a little bit, and then I'll go back into that. Sorry if I that screen. Oh my god, how long has that cursor been on the screen? If it wasn't hiding in the background, ooh, I'm gonna be so bad if there's a cursor throughout all of this. All right, this should go much better now. Um, oh, I'm assuming I should have. Much better time if I don't jump into shit. Oh my god, but here I am dying! Ugh! Ah! What? Okay. Somehow I think I stunned her and didn't take damage when I should have. Okay, I can't be jumping over her. As. Oh! She got messed up somehow, I think? She looped back down to super slow. But we beat her, we got ourselves some nice Super Mario World 2 victory music, which I always will love. And what? happens next. I'm assuming a cutscene involving taking an egg, which is why I love the theme of this so much. Thank you. That egg was alive and you were gonna eat it. That's fucked up. It's conscious enough to talk. I'm not getting into an abortion debate here, but you probably shouldn't kill things that can talk. Mario has destroyed the grocery store and saved Yoshikine from suffering extinction at the hands of the evil Princess Peach. That's great, but where is everyone going to go grocery shopping now? <laughs> a less evil business. We learned this from um, Stardew Valley. You don't support Jojo Mart, or whatever the heck it is. I don't remember. It's been a long time. So I don't think it's called Jojo Mart, but it might have been. Yeah, you support your independent farmer. Go out there and buy from a, a fruit stand. 
I'm gonna put a little X on the head of the thing. And that's, that's it, really. That's got to be the end of the heck. It's a short and sweet one. Nice theme again. And like I said, just fun to play. Just fun to play. It's not, it didn't stress me out. I didn't have to think too much. I just went through, played some Mario, had some fun, exited this level by accident, and I'm, I just want to go back and see Yoshi again. I know that it's not in the cards for him to have something different to say. I just want to check in on him. You know what I mean? I think I can go right up here, actually. Um... He's going to say the same thing. Hooray! Thank you for saving us from that greedy princess! Now I can finally leave this treehouse! Oh my god! Oh my god! I didn't, I didn't believe in him, but this... Ooh, that was the, the icing! The icing on this experience was the Yoshi being given to you, so you can just go around. Like, there's no point in having this Yoshi, unless there's something else secret in here, which I, wouldn't surprise me, but um, I, don't, I didn't see anything that I think a Yoshi... Like, I didn't see anything obviously saying, come back here if you ever get a Yoshi. Um, although there are berries on these bushes I can now eat and stuff. Um, but that is the icing on an otherwise very nice experience. Just like a little bonus at the end. Like, that extra content. The game's ended, but he put something in there. He or she put something in there. Just in case. Just in case she came back and decided to check on Yoshi afterwards. Wait a minute. Can I get into... Hey. God... Gosh darn it. <laughs> I don't know why I say gosh darn it. <laughs> but, um, um, let's see. Let's see if we can get that, um, like, the place where that secret was now that we can get a trampoline out of here. I don't know if that makes much of a difference. Because I didn't seem like I could go in that pipe either way, but now we can definitely know for sure. Just can't f screw up. Get ourselves a feather. Float our way down here. And, like, like, tell me... Oh, it drops something from the pipe. Okay, I must have missed that the first time around. You guys probably saw it on the screen and were like, oh, you idiot. Um, but either way, I, the icing on the cake of an otherwise excellent experience. Otherwise excellent? Of an, of an already excellent experience. Hey, we glitched a berry and we changed the color. You see that? When you glitch a berry out, the color changes to the color of the berry that's currently on Yoshi's tongue no matter what that berry may be. So a little glitch to end the video for you. Thank you all so much for joining me, friends. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Squiggy's Rom Hack Rob. I had a blast recording it. As always, if you want to see your hack being played in one of these episodes, it would be my pleasure. You would really be doing me a favor by sending it in. So if you got one out there and you're like, I don't want to waste this guy's time, my time's worthless. <laughs> you can't possibly waste it. Trust me, just send it in. Send me your hacks at gmail.com and I will... I will appreciate it greatly, as well as probably having a blast with it. Oh, we almost got... You know what? We're going to... Do I have rewind set up? We're going to use rewind powers to see what it does just before we go. I usually don't cheat in these videos, but just to see what we would have gotten. A golden one-up. Well, I think that's a nice end to this hack. Thank you so much for joining me, friends. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and as I said, please send in your own if you want to. And until next time, have a series of wonderful afternoons, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Take it easy, my friends.